What's up guys, Mike here, welcome back to Game Dev with AI, your place where we're developing our first real-time strategy game without any coding skills, using visual programming tools provided by AI such as Midjourney, ChatGPT and some help from Fiverr experts. As usual, we're using Construct 3 game engine, which is a great engine with a quick learning curve to get 2D games done pretty quickly. In this video, as you requested, I'm going to show you the whole process of creating a new map from scratch. So I'm going to show you from A to Z everything you need to know when we are creating a new map. First, I will explain the process and then I will run uh, the time and then I will run the time lapse to show you the whole thing speed up a little bit so you can see how it was going. When I'm recording this video, there are some limitations of AI. I'm sure if you are watching this video much later, some of the extra tools are already available. So this process can be simplified a lot. But when I'm recording, it's still quite difficult because mid-journey is still lacking some of the features like out painting and uh, painting, editing painting, those features were already announced and I'm sure they ca come in anytime soon. But for now, I'm going to use DALI, OpenAI DALI to help me out as well in this process and Photoshop. We are creating the tower, we are creating the map called Two Towers. First, we start with the concept. You need to understand that maps need to work. You have to have your concept in mind of what's going on. It cannot be random. In my idea, it will be two forts, enemy fort across the river, and here is our fort. We cannot attack each other because there is a river separating us with the cliffs, so you cannot pass over here. And we have to walk around. Here on the left, we'll have zombie place and protecting towers. Here we'll have robot factories, and on the right, we'll some uh, nuclear silo and more zombies and more robot factories. So this is a whole concept and this is the final map that we have already. So how we started it? As usual, it starts in mid journey. We need to get different variations of our map and the style. I already have the style in the game. So I'm going to blend different maps, previous maps that I have and other maps that I have. Basically, I just mix up everything. The problem is mid journey it creates random things. So some roads go here, some cliffs go there, some mountains over there. It doesn't make any sense, but it looks good. And later we'll take these pieces, like pieces of the puzzle, and we'll arrange them in a way that it will make sense in the game. But for now, I just need variations of everything. So I'm going to run this blend several times and I have rivers like this then I do variations rivers like this and each time four of them rivers uh, bridges as you can see I've been running this quite a while and I got a lot of variations once we have all the variations that we need we need to go to Photoshop and here we arrange the pieces of the puzzle together so it makes sense. So the map has to make sense. So this random rivers, random streets and roads, I'm going to take in things that I need and I'm going to put them in a way that it makes sense. So here in the middle is my puzzle already arranged. So now you see I arranged everything the way I need, but the problem is we have all those ugly seams because I was cutting pasting so all this ugliness you can see has to be fixed. Of course you can be fixing it yourself in Photoshop but it will take ages and as usual as usual I'm lazy and I just want AI to help me with everything. So next step I take this image and I go to open AI DALI. Now we go to DALI we upload this image and now We'll zoom in and we'll be erasing using eraser those ugly seams to make it seamless. 
So all these problematic areas we're gonna be erasing something like this and then we'll ask Dali to outpaint it to fill the missing pieces. I'm sure if you're watching this Mijoni already has it as well so it doesn't matter which tool you use and now for example river cliffs and then I click generate and it's just in a minute me, uh, Dali will fill the missing pieces and provide me with five variations. You can see the progress over here. It takes some time so you can listen to some music. Sometimes it doesn't make sense like look he's created nice cliffs but put some <laughs> generic boxes over here. Let's check second one. Okay something blue and ugly here. All right this one is much better. This one uh, the road goes to nowhere. I like this one, but I don't like this blue shadow in the water. So I can continue erasing it and then run it all over again. So this is uh, the idea. After all, all the seams are removed, the map looks like much better. Look, this is already looks beautiful. It makes sense. Everything is seamless. It looks like I created a giant map myself and it makes sense exactly as I wanted. But there is another problem. Midjourney and Dahlia is creating uh, images in low resolution. Again, maybe if you're watching this, it, it was already improved, but now it was quite low. So if I zoom in, you can see it's very blurry. It's very low resolution. So what we need to do, the final step, is to upscale it and sharpen another with another tool. This one is called onecicom It's something from China, I don't know, from Hong Kong, I think. And it allows you to upload the image with low resolution. And then you can enlarge it, choose art and CGI, and you can enlarge it two times, four, and even eight times. And this is not just enlarging it, but it's making it really sharp. So after this process is done, let's check it out. So I uploaded the map in a new sprite in our construct tree, and you can see it's already sharpened version. I say it in JPEG format. I don't need PNG because the files are too heavy. And you can see, it's much sharper now. You can see all these details much better. So final step for, for us is to uh, position all the units we need as they're supposed to be. And finally, we need to create pathfinding map. So pathfinding map is a tile map and we can draw the tiles, the places where uh, we cannot pass. For example, here in the uh, in the water, we, we cannot pass. And then I apply behavior called solid. So our tanks cannot pass through the cliffs and through the water. And that's pretty much it. You'll have a playable map just like this. It took me about one hour from a to Z to create everything from scratch using the tools of AI. I hope you enjoyed it and now you'll see the full time lapse. Let's roll.
a beer. Zombies. Zombies. Let's get to the chopper. We don't They're serve droids. Orders received. Nuclear ready to launch. Standing by, sir. It's too far. Orders received. Need more brains. Hungry brains. Warning, nuclear launch detected. Oh. Nuclear bomb denied. Ready to rock, sir. Rather have a beer! We require more Vespin gas. Give me a break. Missile ready, coordinates Loud required. Get to the chopper! Construction complete. Orders received. Right away, sir. I'm a one Orders man apart. Okay, territory. fine. Let's get this over lift. With. Okay, fine. Let's get this over with. Set complete. I'm a one man apart. We don't serve droids. We don't serve droids. It's too far! Ready. Brains. Requesting coordinates, sir. 